Hello everyone, uh, today's video I'd just like to go over with you guys what are the best uh, GPU video card stress testing programs. Now uh, some might say well just run 3D Mark or just play a few hours of games. Well that will work on a card that's factory. If you just bought a card you want to make sure that card's running good, easy quick way, do something like that. If you don't have any artifacts, any problems, you're good to go. Now, when you start overclocking, especially once you get to, you know, the highest, you know, very, you know, max limit of the card, uh, you want to run a program that's specifically designed to stress that GPU and the memory on the card, whichever one you're testing, mainly both at the same time would be, you know, an ideal situation. And uh, basically there's programs out there, I'll name a few off in a second, that are designed to stress the graphics card basically to its max. So if you want to see a worst case scenario, or you want to just make sure that your graphics card is 100% stable with the overclocks that you have, here's a few programs that will help you out. First off is Firmark. Firmark is a great tool that you can use. Uh, it's free download. All these are free downloads as far as I know. I'll put the links in the description box for you guys. Um, there's Firmark. It's a very great tool. There is OCCT that has options for CPU and GPU testing. There is the EVGA OC scanner tool. That also is good, I hear. And then there is also the uh, classic ATI tool, artifact scanning, which you can use. I'm really not a big fan of the ATI tool. It works, but if you're using modern cards, modern uh, programs, OS, all that stuff, I would go with Firmark or the um, OCCT. Uh, I've used both of them. They run great. Also, uh, if you have multiple GPUs, fret not, because most of these programs, if not all of them from what I read, actually will support multiple GPUs. You just have to run the stressing in full screen mode to enable stressing of both the GPUs or three or four, however many you have. So uh, I hope that helped you guys out if you're looking for a program that could ultimately stress uh, your video card. Now this can be good in, in two ways. Uh, not only can you test to see if your video card is going to be stable at the overclock you have, but this will also tell you what the highest temperature your video card will pretty much ever reach. Um, when you're gaming, uh, it's going to push a card a lot even when you're you know maxing out the AA and the AF and you have high resolution, uh, but running Firmark you know, at the highest you basically can is going to push that card way more than what any game will. And your temperatures are going to be anywhere from 5 degrees to 15 to 20 degrees higher than what they would be. So if you want to see, you know, what happens if you run, uh, you know, a game for 6 hours, if you want to make sure that that game's not going to crash or there's any going to be overheating issues, run Firmark or OCCT or the other programs I listed a second ago. Uh, run it for, you know, best scenario is to run it for as long as the longest time you'd ever run that card at something near that load so say you run two or three hours of gaming a day then I would run that program for two to four hours pretty much like you would a CPU but a little bit less because some of these programs can damage your video cards because they do push them to the limit so if there is any fail point or any instabilities it will um, have a chance of killing the card faster than it would if you just game on it. But don't be scared to use the program. As long as you keep your stuff cool and your clocks are stable and you can show that with the programs, you know, all you have to do is just overclock it, set the program up, and then run it and you're pretty much good to go. Once you do that, you can go to your gaming or your uh, whatever other programs you use that, you know, you want to overclock your card, make sure it's stable, then uh, these should help you out. So. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. More videos to come.